If you're considering moving to the Reno area, here are the top five neighborhoods. Hey everyone, it's David Tully, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over the top five neighborhoods in Reno, Nevada. I'm gonna be going over the location, the amenities, the schools, and all these great things that these communities have to offer. And if you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the Reno area and you need some help, just reach out. So the first neighborhood I wanna talk about is Damani Ranch, which is located in the south part of Reno, or if you're looking for a home, it is called the South Meadows MLS area and it is also located in the 89521 zip code. And it's kind of in the southeast part of Reno, just about 10 minutes southeast of the airport, just to give you an idea of where it is. One of the best things about Damani Ranch is that not although it is in a great location, it has a ton of great amenities to offer. Damani Ranch is fairly convenient because it's only about 10 to 15 minutes away from the airport, just about 20 minutes away from downtown Reno, about 50 minutes away from Lake Tahoe, and it has a ton of amenities nearby. You have a Sprouts grocery store fairly close, a Safeway that's just a couple of minutes away, a Smith's grocery store, and a Winco shopping center. Not to mention we also have a handful of other restaurants, coffee shops, and pizza spots in the area. But one of the most exciting parts about Damani Ranch that's coming soon is called Downtown Damani. Right on Damani Ranch Parkway and Steamboat is going to be an amazing area that should be done sometime at the end of 2024. They're going to have amazing office space, retail space, and luxury apartments. Although Damani has a lot of great amenities and it's in a solid location, we do need more restaurants, bars, and things to do. So this is a nice welcome addition to the Damani Ranch area. Damani Ranch also has a handful of schools in the area that are highly rated. If you're looking for an elementary school, you can expect to be at Polakitas Elementary or Brown Elementary. But there's also gonna be a brand new elementary school that should be completed sometime this year or next year, and it is called J. Wood Raw elementary located right off of Rio Wrangler in the heart of Damani Ranch, which is going to be awesome. And if you're wondering about middle schools, the only option is going to be DePauli Middle School at the moment, which is in Double Diamond. And the only option for a high school at the moment is Damani Ranch High School right off Rio Wrangler. Another great aspect of Damani Ranch is that it has great parks. It has Damani Ranch Park, which is located right off of Steamboat, which is really convenient. It has a good sized playground and grassy area for the kids. It also has a small basketball court but I honestly think the best part of Damani Ranch Park is that on the back side of the park it has miles of trails and you're able to walk around the beautiful Damani Ranch wetlands and see gorgeous views of the mountains and Mount Rose another great park very close to Damani Ranch Park is what I think is the best park in the Reno area and it's called Cyan Park which was completed within just the last two to three years so it has a really amazing playground for the kids it has a dog area and a huge grassy area area for kids to play soccer or play other sports with a walking path around it. It is an absolutely gorgeous park and also it has breathtaking views of the mountain and Mount Rose. If you're wondering what kind of homes are in the Damani Ranch area, you're typically going to find your standard single family homes and I would say most homes in Damani Ranch were built in the early 2000s all the way up to just a couple of years ago. There's not a lot of builders left currently building homes in Damani Ranch. I believe the last community that's really available is a De Loretto community that has a long wait list and the Lennar community that is about to close out called the Palisades right behind Damani Ranch High School. Most of the homes in the area are going to be built in the early to mid 2000s all the way up to just one to two years ago and like I said there are still a couple of brand new home communities still building and the average home price in Damani Ranch over the last three months has been right around $700,000. You can find some homes in the high fives or even the sixes but there's going to be a good amount of homes in the 700 to $900,000 price point. And if you're looking for something a little bigger, maybe three to 4,000 square feet, you can certainly find some bigger Toll Brothers homes in the Saddle Ridge community, but it's gonna set you back over a million dollars. And if you're wondering if there are any condos or townhouses in the Damani Ranch area, they truthfully don't have too many condos or townhouses in the area, but if you really want a townhouse, I recommend checking out the Esplanade community or the Village community, which is right off of Steamboat and Veterans. They have a good amount of townhouses houses that were built mid 2000s from about 2005 to about 2010 and they have some townhouses that were just completed in the last couple years which were built by genuine those homes are in about the 400 to 
$75,000 range. And they go from about two to three bedrooms, ranging from about 1,300 to 1,900 square feet. The second community I wanna talk about is Double Diamond. And this is also located in the South Reno area. And it is also in the same MLS area as Damani Ranch called South Meadows if you're looking for a home. Double Diamond is also very similar to Damani Ranch because it is just two to three minutes away depending on where you are in Damani Ranch. So this makes it very convenient with very similar schools and amenities. If you're wondering about the amenities in the area, it is very close to Safeway, which is a nice shopping center with a pizza shop, coffee shop, and more. It's also very close to a Smith's grocery store, a Sprouts grocery store, and a handful of restaurants and bars. It's also only about 10 to 12 minutes away from the airport, which is very convenient. It's only about 20 minutes from downtown Reno and about 50 to 55 minutes to Incline or the North Tahoe area. And if you're looking to go to skiing or snowboarding, Mount Rose Ski Resort is only about 20 to 25 minutes away from both Double Diamond and Damani Ranch, which makes it super convenient. The schools in the area in Double Diamond are gonna be Double Diamond Elementary, the Pauley Middle School, and the Damani Ranch High School. So like I said, very similar to Damani Ranch, but the main school for elementary is gonna be Double Diamond, while Damani Ranch has two to three other options. So if you're wondering about home prices in Double Diamond, it's actually a little cheaper than Damani Ranch, which was around $700,000. The average home price in Double Diamond is right around $580,000, where you can certainly find some homes under 500,000 and a good amount over 600,000. And if you're looking for a condo or a townhouse, you can certainly find some homes or condos at Tanamera, which you could find in the 300 to $400,000 price point if you're looking for a one to two bedroom condo. But I would say a majority of Double Diamond are older single family homes, some that were built in the late 90s, but mostly in the 2000 to about 2009 or 10 range. The third neighborhood I wanna talk about is Northwest Reno. And I'm actually gonna include two separate parts of Northwest Reno, because if you're looking for a home, there's actually an area called Northwest Suburban, which is slightly newer. And there is an older part called the Old Northwest, which is kind of in the Keystone area, West University area, just west of UNR. But overall, these are two very solid neighborhoods in the Reno area. One of the best parts about Northwest Reno is that it's beautiful and it has a ton of amenities nearby. Depending on where you are in either the older part of Northwest Reno or the newer part, you're going to have a Walmart shopping center with a ton of restaurants nearby. You're going to have a Safeway that's very close by and a handful of other grocery stores and shopping centers. There's also going to be a handful of urgent cares throughout the area and a ton of good bars and restaurants. You're also only about 10 minutes from downtown Reno, which makes it very convenient. And whether you're in the older part of Northwest Reno or a newer part, you're also only just three to five minutes away from the freeway with easy access to most things. You can also hop on the freeway and get to the lake in about an hour and you can get to North Star in about 45 minutes, which like I said, makes it a very convenient area. But Northwest Reno is also gorgeous because you're tucked away on the mountains depending on where you are and you can see the beautiful Sierras and the Peavine Mountains, a lot of greenery, mature landscaping, and it's just such a gorgeous area to live in. Another great part about Northwest Reno is that it has solid schools in the area. You're gonna be looking at Westergaard Elementary, Melton Elementary, Billinghurst Middle School, and McQueen High School. And there have been a handful of NFL players and professional athletes that have actually come from McQueen High School. So as you can see, it has a really great sports program. And overall, these are very good schools in the area. So if you're wondering about home prices in the Northwest part of Reno, I would say they average about 500 to $550,000. With definitely better value and lower prices in the older part of Northwest Reno. I would say you can find homes in the high threes or maybe even to about the mid fours. You can certainly find homes at the lower price point in the newer part of Northwest Reno, but they're going to be around 1,000 to 1,200 square feet and kind of on the smaller end. I would say most homes in Northwest Reno are going to be single family homes built anywhere from the 40s in the older part of Northwest Reno up to about the 70s or 80s. And then in the newer part of Northwest Reno, it's gonna be kind of in the early 90s all the way up to about 2010. So this should give you a good idea of the kind of homes in Northwest Reno. They also have a good amount of condos and townhouses throughout the area where you can find one to three bedroom condos or townhouses that range from about 250 to $400,000. And another thing to note if you're buying a home in Northwest Reno, or if you're thinking about moving to the Northwest Reno area, please keep in mind that several parts of Northwest Reno are gonna be slightly higher elevation than Reno. So you're gonna get a little bit more snow 
and a little more wind. So keep that in mind if you move to Northwest Reno. The fourth neighborhood on our list is Somerset. And this is a great golf course community located just west of Northwest Reno. And it's kind of tucked away in its own little area. And depending on where you are, you could be going through either one to five or six different roundabouts, which some people like and some people hate. But it's truly a nice area if you want to be tucked away and not right next to the city because you can hop on the freeway in about five to eight minutes and get to most places places pretty quickly. But if you're trying to get to certain parts of Northwest Reno, it's going to take you about five extra minutes to get to most of the other amenities. Somerset has some really cool amenities that are located right in Somerset. One of the best parts about Somerset is that it has an amazing clubhouse. It has a 24,000 square foot clubhouse with an amazing pool a pool for the kids. Yes, I said a pool for the kids, which is really, really nice. And some hot tubs. My wife and I loved going to the Somerset pool in the summer. They have a really amazing clubhouse with a big basketball court, workout area, and a good event space, which is really, really nice. Somerset also has a beautiful 18 hole championship golf course where you can take your friends and relax on the weekends. Somerset also has a handful of parks throughout the area. Some notable mentions are the East and West Somerset Park. One of them is located just across from the town center. Somerset is also zoned for some really great schools like Westergaard Elementary, Billinghurst Middle School, and McQueen High School. So if you're wondering about home prices in Somerset, they're going to be averaging about $730,000, where you can certainly find some homes in the $500 to $600,000 range, but I would say a majority of the homes are going to be $700,000 and up. And I've seen a good amount of homes in the Somerset area, ranging from about $1.5 million all the way to 4 million, which of course depends on whether how big the lot is, how big the home is, and how good of a view it has. But Somerset has some really gorgeous homes. They have mostly single family homes that are detached, but if you're looking for a single family home with an attached common wall, very similar to a townhouse feel, there are a handful of homes right next to the town center. But do keep in mind these homes do have a higher HOA because they're in gated communities and they do have slightly more amenities than other residents in Somerset. These homes range from about the high fours all the way up to about $600,000 if you're looking for one of the single family attached homes. Another thing to keep in mind about Somerset and in Northwest Reno is that you're at a slightly higher elevation once again. So you're going to get slightly more wind and sometimes you're going to get more snow than other parts of Reno. Last but not least is one of the best neighborhoods in all of Reno and I would say most local residents and Reno natives would agree. This is called Collin Ranch. Collin Ranch is a beautiful neighborhood located in the southwest part of Reno. And depending on where you are in Collin Ranch, you could have some breathtaking views of downtown Reno, Peavine, and gorgeous mountain views, which is absolutely awesome. You're going to see a ton of green belts, trees, and greenery throughout the area, which gives it a really good feel, even though you're in a desert. It has a lot of mature landscaping, and it is a really gorgeous neighborhood. One of the best parts about Collin Ranch is that it's very convenient. Just a few minutes away from most parts of Collin Ranch, you're going to find a grocery store, store, Casa Grande, and a Thai restaurant. And if you drive just a few minutes further, right down Skyline, you're going to find a great sushi spot called Sushimi's and a restaurant on Skyline, which has a really great happy hour and really good food. You're only about 10 to 12 minutes from downtown Reno, about 15 or so minutes from the hospitals, and about less than 10 minutes away from Meadowood Mall, which has pretty much everything you need and a ton of other shopping very close by Meadowood Mall area. And you're less than 10 minutes away from the northwest part of Reno, which we talked about before, but has a ton of shopping, restaurants, and bars, and other amenities throughout the area, which makes, like I said, Collin Ranch a very convenient and beautiful area. Collin Ranch also has some really cool parks and amenities throughout the area. They have the Collin Club if you want to join, which is a really awesome sports club with a pool and workout area. They have the Collin Ranch Park and the Village Green Park, and they have beautiful landscaping throughout the area with a handful of green belts which give Collin Ranch just a really great feel. Another really great part about Collin Ranch is that it has amazing schools. Collin Ranch Elementary is a really great elementary school and certain parts of Collin Ranch are zoned for Roy Gom, which is an amazing elementary school as well. You're also going to be zoned for Swope Middle School and Reno High School. If you're wondering about home prices in Collin Ranch, you're going to be looking at about $650,000 to $700,000 on average. You can certainly find some single family homes that are going to be a little bit less, but I would say a good amount of homes in the Collin Ranch area 
area are going to be well above seven hundred thousand dollars you're going to find older single family homes but you're also going to find some very large newer semi-custom homes that are going to be well over a million dollars it's a very unique area but a beautiful one Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on the top five neighborhoods in the Reno, Nevada area. If you have any questions about these specific communities or neighborhoods that I've talked about, please leave your questions down in the comments below or reach out to me directly. And if you enjoyed this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the Reno area or possibly one of these neighborhoods and you need some help, just reach out.